All right. New Year begins as the dawning ends. Last chance for some god rolls. And here we go. We're going to start with Glacioclasm. And I'm going to pull eight of them out. All right, here we go. Let's take a look. What we got? Under pressure reservoir burst. No, not looking for that. Slide shot reservoir burst and overflow. Okay, well, we'll hold on to this one. See if we get a different one. But well, we will hold on to this one. What else we got? No, I'm not really looking for a PvP roll on this one. Let's see, heating up, reservoir burst. Nope. Goodbye to that one. Killing one control burst. Does this one have? Nope, it doesn't. If it had overflow, I would keep this one. Not happening. Repulsive brace, reservoir burst. Nope. Uh, two left. Subsistence golden tricorn. Are you for real right now? Okay, get rid of that one. And subsistence high impact reserves. Oh, this one has under pressure and high impact reserves. Well, that is interesting. Well, I might hold on to this one too, even though this is a PvP roll. I'm going to hold on to this one, too, though. All right, then. Up oh, next one. Uh, I'm going to save the glaive for last, because I really am uh, not that interested in that glaive. We will go with Cold Front next. We'll pull eight of these. All right, let's see what we have here. No. Unrelenting Cascade Point? Um, no, I, I really do not think so. Unrelenting and Frenzy. Wow, this is so sad. I don't want attrition warbs. I have one with deconstruct, but I'm trying to get a de okay. Enlightened action and deconstruct, but I don't like the rest of it. it does have a stability masterwork though? Though I'm not really I'll hold on to it for now it does have one for all that does make it sort of worth keeping unrelenting one for all hmm it's a difficult choice here Use that five more stability, but my goodness, it's just crazy. Okay. We'll hold on to that one too. Perpetual motion cascade point. You know, I'm really not down with this one. So we got one left. Perpetual one for all. Okay. Subsistence one for all. But it does not have a Oh my goodness, the. Either way, with that, the. Putting full bore on, I mean, even if I was using this for PvE, the stability with full bore on is absolutely atrocious. To stability. <laughs> 
Wow, I'll hold on anyway, just for a meme. Okay. So, I'm going to do Eight of the Glaive next. The reason I'm doing that is because I already got the rolls that I want for these two. Got both of the heavy weapons already. Now I'm just focused on getting the rest of these. I've already tried to get another memento for these. For the donning weapons. Or the donning memento actually. It, it just did not work out. Okay. So let's see what we get here. All right. Well, one went to the postmaster. Keep away golden tricorn. And field prep. Close to melee. Uh, this is going to be one of those weird ones. Well, check it out for now. Clown cartridge, high impact reserves. I really am not sure about that. Not sure what to do with that. So I'm just going to get rid of it. Grave robber demolitionist. I couldn't think of a worse pairing. Maybe if it had grave robber and close to melee. I have no idea. So, no on this one. Field prep and lead from gold. Close to melee. I'm just not feeling it. A movable object deconstruct. Is that... Hmm... I don't see, I do not see Deconstruct as being the play on this glaive. Replenishing Aegis. I don't think I'm going to get one with Beacon Rounds. And I'm already down to the last two. Clown Cartridge close to melee. I really do not know. I don't want this one. Let me go check out that one in the postmaster real quick. Checking. Grave robber and lead from gold. Nope, no beacon rounds. I would have at least liked to have gotten one with beacon rounds, but. I'm not really down with that. Now, considering that I've already been getting the pulse rifle, I'm going to get. I'll go with four more of the glaive real quick. And that will be it. I'll just try for the pulse rifle real quick. Okay. Grave robber deconstruct. No. Grave robber high impact reserves. No beacon rounds. It's got a shield duration masterwork. That's interesting. Just don't think that's the play, though. Well, last two. Peel prep golden tricorn. Mm. 
This is just really sad. You just cannot seem to get a good roll in this thing. Oh, of course, the last one. Beacon rounds and demolition. This all the whole lot of this just because of those beacon rounds. Okay, well, at least I got one with beacon rounds, even though it doesn't have a damage perk to go with it. I'm not going for any more. I'm just just too much. I'm going to go for four more with the pulse rifle. And that will be it. All right, that's the last of it. Encore headstone, that's interesting. Tunnel vision headstone. Hmm. I hold on to that one. Um, no, I really do not think so. Enlightened action in headstone. That's not bad. Under over. Situational at best on that one, but might be useful. We'll have to test that one out. And finally, enlightened action under over and attrition orbs. This one I will not accept. I just don't. I do not see attrition orbs as the play. Well. That's it. Not going to have any regrets on this one. So that puts a cap on the dawning for me. Not doing any more farming for god rolls and stuff like that. I'd say I've got some pretty solid rolls. So, till next time, that blue eyed dude is out. Later, game heads.